Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about a complete AEM environment at a high level. There must be some variations, but I'll talk about at a high level. So in this tutorial, I'll talk about a AEM environment setup and the, some, some environment variations at a high level. Okay, there, there can be more. So as I said, there are at least two instances. One is author, one is published. But in actual environment, you generally have one author and two published, two or more published, two you always have just to uh, you know, fail safe. If any case one publish goes down, so your another publish can take load. Okay. So as I said, you always create content or author instance, right? Then that content is moved or published to publish instances. Now these publish instances, these publish instances serve content to end user. Right, but if you serve content straight away from published instances to end users, there are some issues, right? Your AEM instance is a CMS, but AEM instance doesn't have few things, right? AEM instance never cache your data, okay? Let's say you have some static page and you're getting every time the same request. So your published instance every time execute that request and serve data instead of serving from the cache because AM doesn't have cache itself or if you want to block some request means you want to manipulate with a request you want to block some request you want to allow some specific request that that's cannot be done only with AM publish instance and also there's a no way to distribute your load only with AM publish instances to to solve these kind of issues we add a web server between the end users and your publish instances. This web server can be Apache or Microsoft IS or any other web server for which Adobe provide the functionality. Means Adobe provide a tiny software to interact your web server with your AEM. Okay. But if you see here, this guy web server and publish AEM is entirely different softwares they don't know each other so there must be something actually which tell how to communicate between these two right how your web server communicate with your AEM server so for that Adobe provide a tiny module okay this module called dispatcher and this module is different for different web server okay if you are using IS you have to download a different module for Apache you have to download a different module now this module tells how to communicate from web server to AEM. So now what happened? Now end user, now your call, you can, your web server can communicate to a publish instance. Now the end users can make request to web server and web server cache data. If cache is not there, it send request to AEM. But you will see one thing here. Now end user requests are coming to both web servers so there must be something which actually distribute this load so there is a load balancer in between okay this is the third party you can take services from any third party okay their number of available so that is that is one use case another use case can be your web server itself can behave itself can work as a load balancer along with the other functionalities so your web server can distribute load based on their own algorithms so these were just two scenarios. There are other scenarios, other complex scenarios. We'll, I will keep explaining those once you understood all this stuff. If you have any question, please add your comment. Thank you.